Hey, 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 what is going on? My name is Mario. Nice to meet you and thank you for being here. If this is your first time here on my channel, I just want to welcome you. Please leave a like if you find if you found any sort of value and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or you just want to share something with me or somebody that might be watching and then subscribe if you want to keep consuming some of, some of my amazing content. The purpose of this video is to show you how to pretty much get your own MyFX book set up and live so you can start sharing that link and be able to, you know, show your friends, your family, you know, the people around you, what kind of results you're getting with your own trading. Uh, maybe you're using a trading software just like me and some of my people are using. Um, but the, the reason why you want to use a MyFX book is that it's actually a very, very powerful tool. Um, it pretty much grabs all the data of every single trade taken on account ever since its inception or since the moment that it started and it allows you or anybody looking at the account to read data based on things that actually happen so it's going to give you things like you know your profit percentage you know how much you win on on every trade um how often do you win um what kind of drawdown are you seeing on average per trade how many pips you're catching what's your biggest trade that you've caught your biggest loss and all these different things that a lot of investors take into account when they're when they're going over these accounts and a lot of people that are actually looking to start trading or utilizing an AI trading software like myself when I actually use this kind of tool to be able to measure and test different things different strategies to become a lot more consistent and a lot more familiar with it um, but pretty much let's go ahead and get this started let's skip the fluff get right into the stuff um, if you go on the right on the top right uh, you can go ahead and log in if you don't have an account go ahead and get that get that done you can pause the video right now um, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving once you do that you go ahead to your portfolio and as you see I have two accounts but you just go to add an account now I'm gonna use a brand new demo account um, this is an account that hasn't had anything on it is just to pretty much to help you get that set up but you're gonna click on add it on add account right you know you're, you're gonna go here and select uh, MetaTrader 4 auto update and once that loads you're just gonna go ahead and put the demo account right here now yours can be a demo account yours could be a live account it doesn't matter if it's five months old or ten years old as long as the broker is accepted within the MyFX book um, list of brokers then you can pretty much just set up any account and it'll tell you all the data since its inception right now as you see right here I didn't fill out the investor password this is very important so when you get in a, when you get a password or when you get an account, you get two different passwords. You get a, an investor password and a regular password. The investor password is a read-only password. So this is something you can give to someone else and they can log into your account from their MetaTrader 4 terminal on their phone and be able to see every single trade that you're taking. They can't place anything though. They can't close out anything, they can just watch. So you wanna make sure you use that password right there. But let's go ahead and type that in. And once you do that, go on create account So boom, now your demo has been successfully added or you're live. So it's gonna give you two options, take me to my account or set privacy settings. Let's go straight to the set privacy settings, right? So um, you wanna go ahead and, and full disclaimer here, go ahead and get some sort of MetaTrader 4 platform on your laptop or um, get a VPS and if you already have one, then that's perfect because that is pretty much where the rest of this process, um, what you need for the rest of this process um, and it'll make it make it just a lot easier for you to go ahead and get get these things done. So we're gonna go ahead and click update password, right? Um, you're gonna go ahead and update the investor password. So that same password you just had, what we're pretty much just gonna do is update it. So I use uh, a VPS right here. We use a, a cloud server um, VPS um, to run our software. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right here to open an account, right? Drag this up. And then I'm gonna find my broker. If I already have it here, like I already do, just click next, existing trade account, and you're gonna log in. Now make sure you use the regular password on here. Um, don't use the investor password here yet. I will show you where exactly you wanna go ahead and use that. But click finish, boom. Now I'm logged in. I should be logged in. Yeah, well, here we are, 3000, demo account awesome we're gonna go ahead into the tools click on options click on change and then you're gonna write in your current password right so this is the master password 
um, you type that in, which is the password you used to log in to uh, within your MetaTrader 4 on the VPS or the, or the computer that you're using. And then make sure you click this, the change investor password, which is the read only. Now we're going to head back into here, right? And as you see right here, it gives me the authorization password. This is exactly what I'm going to use um, and replace it for the for, for the old investor password. So I'm gonna take a picture on my phone and I'm gonna go ahead and type it up right here. So boom, that should have been already changed. And we're just gonna head over here. Now we're gonna click on update password, right? Before we do that, let's copy this, update the password. I am typing that again, save it, password update it, and then click connect it should start loading and then connect your account. And boom, there we go. So now it's successfully authorized. You need to have your account authorized to be able to share it. If this is just something for you, then you don't need to go through this process, right? Um, and then this right here, right, is what allows you to make it public, right? So obviously here you wanna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reload this page. Here we go here. Um, let's see. There we go. So we can just go ahead and make that public and make everything public. You can just go ahead and um, click all this stuff. And then just click on save. Then once you do that, you can literally see how it went from private straight to public, and then you can edit that. Then scroll all the way down, actually go to invitations, and then create a private invitation link for an account. You click on demo. You do this already. So you just do it one more time. and then click on URL active and then apply settings. And then boom, now you have your own MyFXbook URL. You can put it somewhere else that you want, um, like on your notes, which is what exactly I'm gonna do right now. And the best way to try it out is to just go ahead and log out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you can just go ahead and log out and then just uh, go to the MyFXbook and then check it out. There we go. So of course it's a brand new demo. I created it right as I was making this video. So there's no data to display. But if you wanna see any of my other FX books that I have running my software or on my manual trading account, then you can just go ahead and reach out to me personally. I'm gonna leave my, my Instagram, I'm gonna leave my Facebook. You can go ahead and, and just reach out to me mainly on my Facebook. That's where I'm most active now. And just you know ask, ask away and we can go ahead and connect. I hope you guys found a lot of value from this video. If you like it, like I said, just leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Hope you all have an amazing, blessed rest of your day and let's dominate this week in the markets.